Thank you, and I'd also like to start by thanking everyone who came out tonight and uh, and, and the, uh, the, um, the the forum show tonight and and, uh, and the, the, the going of the, of the questions and the breadth of the question. Um, only Labor can be trusted to deliver the transport infrastructure projects at our state and community needs. Um, Robert's talked about how the, the Liberals are uh, investing in multimodal and trans public transport and, and, and road projects. But we look at the last term of government. There were a lot of plans under the last term of government, but not much action. Melbourne Railing, where did that go? Um, Doncaster Rail, where did that go? There was the, all, all, all of these plans. In this term of government, we have removed level crossings, we've progressed the development of the Boxall Interchange, commenced construction on the Milton Metro. And a re elected Labor government will commence work on the final section of the ring road, commence work on the first section of the ring road. Now, I know Robert has uh, dismissed this idea, but we do need to think about the bigger picture. 2050, we are going to be a city of 8 million people, we just ticked over to 5 million, 60% more okay. set by other policies and people want to come to Melbourne because it's a growing economy, Victoria's growing economy, that's what makes it great, people want to come here and it's a great place to, to be. But we, are going, we need rail and road projects to be able to um, make out and keep our, our city livable in the future. Um, and we need projects that do have that vision, it's not, we, we, we can't just sustain by, let's like, say, a few level crossings level crossing up crash upgrades to sustain uh, a population of 8 million people. We need projects such as these, the, the, these visionary projects such as the suburban railway. There's a lot of uh, work to be done on those projects. Absolutely, the Premier admitted it. It takes a long time. It will be staged over many, many years. Um, but we look at City Loop, we look at the, um, uh, the Melbourne Metro, how many, time, how, how many years did they take from the time that they were conceived to the time that they started construction to the time that they were finished construction? These projects are, but they are game changing. Can you imagine a city today that did not have a city loop? Can you imagine a city in 10 years time that did not have a metro? Will we be able to imagine a city in 30 years time that does not have a city? Thank you.